A lot of people pick up their calculator and they calculate the ways of God. Calculate the ways of God. The first mathematics God has ever solved in the Bible and in the world and pronounced answer is foolishness in the eyes of man. First mathematics. God said, therefore, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife? And they two shall become how many? They're supposed to be how many? Even the first mathematics, the first answer to the first mathematics is wrong in the view of human beings. This woman turned away her face for the problem. And face who? She faced God. She cried to God. And God heard the cry of this baby. I tell people, the God that can raise the dead now is the same God who waited till the womb of Sarah became dead. There is something some of us may not understand. In those days, um, education was not for females. Females, once you are grown up, you can bear children. They give you out. In fact, then, betrotha was very, very common. Especially in fact, betrotha. As a baby, the man, as you are growing up, there is already a husband for you. Before you grow up, there is already an arrangement on ground for you. So there is nothing like no man is coming. No, a man has come before you knew it. They will take your bride price, your parents will collect the bride price, and wait till you grow up. So, Sarah got married early. That is what I'm trying to say. But God waited for how many years? For 90 good years, 90, and Abraham was 100 years. When they had the one and only child in that marriage. Where was God? When, where people, when people were laughing at Sarah, where was God? Was God deaf? When people told Sarah, your womb is dead. Your husband has no problem. You are the problem. Look at how rich your husband is. But you can't use this your womb to produce a child for your husband. And the woman said, well, I think we need to try. Let's try this man. Probably it's this man. It is Abraham that has the problem. And they gave Hagar to Abraham. As Abraham tried, something entered. And do you know what entered? Boko Haram entered. Akada entered. Isis entered. It's not every terrorist that is a Muslim. But majority of the terrorists are Muslims. When God says wait, do what? Wait. When God says wait, don't move an inch. Wait. When God says, follow me through the desert, do what? Follow. If he says, I choose to pass through the desert with you, follow him. For the first time in the history of the world, because some people decided to obey, we now learned that there is a bakery in heaven. For the first time in the world, God was raining manna from heaven. Manna from heaven, baked food. The children of Israel were passing through the dry land, the wilderness. They had enough to eat. It came to a time that they started stooling. And God said, uh, I know it's free food. God told them, Go and have toilets so that you don't mess up the camp. You know that a wolf. The Porsche, Abby. Uh -huh. um, money, no day, money, no day. After Christmas, like this, during Christmas, New Year, hospitals they make money. There are some sets of persons who will overeat and overdrink. 
They go rush them, go hospital. Because of waiting, a wolf. God decided to rain bread even when they complain of meat. God provided meat for them. For 40 years, there was meat and there was food enough. God provided. God is the unfailing provider. I've heard about a story where a man was feeding, taking care of children, and that day there was no food in the house. God decided, and uh, this man decided to pray. He said, Watch the place, watch the pause. God will provide food. And that day, somebody brought food for all of them. The fact that things are hard now does not mean that God is not in charge of your life. There are different kinds of schools in this world. There are universities of hardship. There are universities of poverty. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not ashamed of my past. It's my pride. In fact, I had some pictures I snapped. When people see you and decide to draw a conclusion in your life, if you do not, if you do not agree with them, you will keep moving. If God is passing you through the university of hardship and tribulation, tell yourself, I'm going to come out with flying colors. A um, few years ago, I went to the market, Nyaga market. Who knows Nyaga market here? <laughs> you know what Nyaga means, Abi? Nyaga means uh, Shakara. Yeah? And the market, they do a lot of Shakara there. So I wanted to buy fish. And uh, I told a woman I used to know. She had the kind of fish I wanted to buy. I asked her, after exchanging presentries, I asked her, how much? She looked at me and said, can you pay for this fish? I became weak. Why did she say that? As a child, she knew me. We were in the same compound. When a single mom was raising us up. If people look down on you, don't quarrel with them. Stop fighting. Stop trying to convince people into believing that you are something. Time will tell. 